So you love bikes, or maybe you're just getting into this whole cycling thing, but you don't have an interest in racing. I know, believe it or not. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys four ways you can ride a bike without ever pinning on the number and still have fun. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you love bikes but aren't into racing, the supple life, and you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. This video actually kind of started out as a joke between Laura and I. We were kind of brainstorming on what kind of content I should make for this channel. And flipping through the internet, there's lots of videos about racing, guides to racing, to training, but not a whole lot for alternative things to do with the bike. So uh, what became a joke has now become a YouTube video. So thing number one that you can do with your bike and have fun without pinning on the number is traveling. And I mean this in the big broad sense, not necessarily load everything on the bike and ride from Alaska to Argentina, although you can do that, but basically use your bike both as a means or as the reason for a trip. If you're not prepared to go full on loaded bike packing or bike touring, that's totally fine. Just do a quick overnighter, ride to a friend's house, ride to the next town, stay at an Airbnb or a cute little hotel with your partner, or take your bike to a cabin or a cute small town that you've always wanted to explore. And when you get there, leave the car at the hotel and explore by bike. So thing number two, I'm gonna call bike plus, which is essentially uh, taking your love or interest in bikes and combining it with another interest. This of course is how the whole bike fishing thing came about. You know, Laura and I both love to go fly fishing and we love to ride bikes. So we decided to combine the two and it's been a blast because it's, you basically enjoy your entire day. You enjoy the bike ride to get to the fishing location. You enjoy the fishing and the bike ride back. But if you don't fish, that's fine. You can combine it with other things as well. Uh, recently this last year, I've been uh, combining bikes with art. If that's not your jam, you can also combine it with trail running. You can ride your bike to the trailhead, lock it up, go do your trail run and ride back. One of the things that we actually wanna do uh, this coming summer is what we're calling the Missoula uh, Triathlon where we ride up the rattlesnake as far as we can go, ditch the bikes, go trail running up to a mountain lake and do some fishing and do it all in reverse all in the same day. So if bicycling is your primary passion and you wanna kind of spice it up, consider combining it with your secondary or tertiary passion. So the third way you can enjoy your bike is through some social activity. So that could be something as simple as coffee outside. And if there isn't a coffee outside group, you can start your own in your own town. And if you want best practices, you should check out our video uh, with Toffer. He talked about how he started the Coffee Outside group in Missoula. Or you can get the whole ethos from the man himself who started the Coffee Outside hashtag Rob Perks. We have an interview with him on the channel as well. Basically creating or participating in events uh, that brings other cyclists together in the social setting. So that could be watching bike movies like Film by Bike. It could be organizing goofy rides like the Prince versus Bowie ride in Portland during Pelapalooza. And in all those events, the emphasis is the social aspect, bringing people together by bike to share their common passion and interest. And incidentally, if you missed our last podcast, it was a great interview with Aileen Crotty. She was one of the early bike funnists in Portland. So if you want to know how that whole burgeoning bike culture began, definitely check out that podcast and video. And the fourth way you can ride the bike without pinning on a number is to use it for utility. So this is really how I started riding a bike. That was by bike commuting. Uh, I had a truck that died. I was too lazy to replace it. And I decided that I, I wouldn't get the truck repaired. So I just started walking, which led to skating, which led to biking. There's lots of reasons why you want to use a bike for, uti for utility. One of them is that it add it builds in daily exercise. So you don't really have to uh, schedule time at the gym if you can use your commuting time to also get that exercise. Another big benefit of using the bike as utility, if you can go car free, if that's an option that's open to you, you save a ton of money. So even if you own your car outright, I did some maths, you're still saving about $5,000 uh, by not paying car insurance, potential parking tickets, unexpected repairs, gas, etc. It was actually that initial choice of not replacing my truck, which led me, uh, you know, a decade on to uh, to here. I basically saved enough money so I could start a business doing freelance photography via bike, which ultimately led to this whole pathless pedal thing. And seriously, guys, if my truck didn't die all those years ago, the whole last decade of our existence probably would have never happened. So. Yeah, utility can lead to fun and bigger life adventures. I know I said four, I'm just gonna put out this fifth one because I'm sure someone is gonna suggest it, and that is just to go on a fun ride. That's open to inter 
interpretation, whatever your definition of fun is, but basically riding with friends, maybe no set distance and just exploring. Because ultimately that's the reason why I think we all ride bikes, whether you race or not, is because we derive hopefully some kind of pleasure out of it. So let me know how you guys enjoy cycling without pinning on a number in the comments below. And if you like content like this, consider supporting the channel via PayPal and Patreon. And as always, keep the self side down.